using Turnitin grading forms or Turnitin rubrics and the feedback summary field to provide feedback with Turnitin Feedback Studio. Note that, in the context of Turnitin and these videos, any mention of the term rubric is specifically a reference to Turnitin's rubric tool. Similarly, references to grading form are specifically meaning Turnitin's grading form tool, an alternative to using a Turnitin rubric. This is how the tools are named in the Turnitin platform. Locate the Turnitin submission point containing the student work you need to mark within the content area of the VLA site the submission point has been inserted into. Click on the submission point to launch its assignment inbox and filter the assignment inbox to display submissions that are ready to be marked. Filtering the inbox before starting marking is critical when marking summative submissions. To assess a listed submission, click on either the paper's title or the pencil icon in the grade column for that submission. This will cause Turnitin Feedback Studio to launch in a new window with the Instructor Feedback layer enabled. To provide feedback using a grading form or rubric attached to the submission point, click the blue Rubric Form icon. Visually, the icon is a grid of small blocks. A panel will appear at the right of the window displaying the attached grading form or rubric. We'll look at the non-scored grading form shown here first. Grading forms provide a list of one or more short criteria headings with a text entry field beneath each criterion. Descriptions of the criteria, if they were entered when the form was created, can be viewed by a draggable panel available at the base of the right-hand column. Clicking on a criterion's title will automatically focus the draggable panel on that criterion's description if one was entered for it. Click in the text field below a criterion heading and enter text into it to provide feedback to a student relating to that criterion. If the grading form has been set up for scoring, then there will be smaller editable fields next to each criterion heading into which you can enter a score for the student for each criterion. You can apply these scores to the overall grade for the submission by clicking the Apply to Grade button. This will update the overall score field with the total. Note that you can change the overall score field after applying grade form criteria scores if needed. If a rubric, rather than a grading form, has been attached for providing feedback on submissions, then the right-hand panel will look slightly different. The criteria titles are shown as before, but they have a slider beneath them rather than an editable text field. Descriptions of the criteria, if they were entered when the rubric was created, can be viewed by the draggable panel at the base of the column. Clicking on a criterion's title will automatically focus the draggable panel on that criterion's description if one was entered for it. To position the submission against a criterion, click and drag on the slider under that criterion's heading. Note that if descriptions were entered for the discrete criteria scales, the draggable panel at the bottom of the column will update to display the description for the position of the slider as you move it. If a tabular view of the rubric is preferred, click the Use Full Size Rubric in a New Window button. The icon is four arrows pointed outward diagonally to launch the rubric into its own window. To position the submission against each criterion, click in the cells of the table. The cells for the currently selected positions are highlighted. When you close the window, the rubric sliders of the right-hand column will update to reflect the selections that you have made in the tabular view. If the rubric was set up to generate scores, then the right-hand column will automatically show the scores for your selections to the right of the criteria titles. As with grading forms, you can apply these scores to the overall grade for the submission by clicking the Apply to Grade button. This will add up the scores you have set via the rubric and update the overall score field with the total. You can change the value in the overall score field after applying rubric criteria scores if needed. There are two types of scored rubric, percentage and custom. Note that it is currently assumed, where summative assessment is concerned, that markers aren't generally responsible for setting up submission points in the first instance. As a marker, you will thus need to work with the feedback mechanism that has been attached to the submission point. Creating and attaching grading forms or rubrics to a submission point is covered in additional support resources. Click the Feedback Summary button, represented by a pencil and document icon, 
to refresh the right-hand column with a text entry field that you can use to provide any overall or further written feedback for the submission. Direct annotation of a submission that Turnitin Feedback Studio is able to render is the remaining form of feedback that you can provide to students. This is covered in a separate video titled Annotating Student Submissions Using Turnitin Feedback Studio. To enter a score for the submission or edit a score already displayed in the score field, click in the field toward the upper right in the window and enter or edit accordingly. When you are finished marking a submission, close the Turnitin Feedback Studio window. Do not use the previous or next buttons provided at the top of the interface or the drop down between the two buttons to access another submission to mark. When marking summative assessments, always launch the next submission to mark directly from the filtered assignment inbox. Most of the things you can enter or set in Feedback Studio are automatically saved when you affect them. It's thus safe to close the Feedback Studio window whenever you like. If there is something that Feedback Studio detects as being unsaved, however, you will be warned of this.